You can be forgiven years ago for an inch, you pull it back online, but we're not allowed a quarter. So you're saying medieval masons might have done a bit of a bodge job? Yeah, often they did. <laughs> often they did. The St Edmundsbury project is using a medieval mortar made from lime. When it's mixed, it's harmless enough. But in the Middle Ages, making lime was a high-risk process for the lime burner. And believe it or not, the mortal danger came from chalk. Michael, why do you need chalk to make the seasons? I need chalk so that I've got something to make lime from by heating the chalk up. If I can heat chalk up to red heat and hold it at red heat for a while, it'll change quite to a quite different chemical, although it'll still look much the same. And what does the lime do? The lime, I think, holds the whole thing together. It uh, binds together the grains of sand to make a mortar, and the mortar holds the stones apart in a gentle cushioning sort of way. I'm going to put a few pieces of chalk into the bottom of this. The first stage was making quicklime, a highly caustic alkali. This is a small-scale version of the process that medieval lime burners used in their giant kilns. It was potentially deadly. Keeping the lime kiln happy means watching it day and night for perhaps 48 hours. If the burning isn't completely effective, they can create carbon monoxide. What does that do to you? It's horrible. It paralyzes you first and then kills you. It poisons your blood. It stops your blood taking in oxygen. During the process of the burn, it's not unknown for people to fall in the kiln and not be able to get out again. So they roast as well. Driving off the oxygen in the kilns was dangerous enough. That was only half the job. The resulting quicklime was added to water to make slaked lime used for making mortar. And it was a very risky business. Okay. I'll try and show you that on a slightly bigger scale. I brought along some lumps of quicklime. Very dangerous stuff. Why I'm wearing gloves, because they'll eat through my hands in no time at all. I'm going to try a Roman technique yeah. to imitate the sort of lime that we're using on the site. What, like this? In this powder form. This powder, powder form here. of lime is much, much safer than quicklime. And this is the powder that you make the mortar with? But how do you get that into powder? By adding water. It does, sound, does not sound likely, but that's the case. It's hugely dangerous. Why is it dangerous? What does it do, this it stuff? It could spit like nobody's business. So how did that affect the lime burners? Um, it was nasty. The caustic action of this on their skin was dreadful. When it got into their eyes and their mouths, yeah. they were in real trouble. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really goes, doesn't it? I'm going to put that in there to make it a bit safer. Yeah. But can you see how that lump has crumbled already? Yes. That was like fireworks. Quick oh. time is very thirsty material. I mean, if any of that got on your skin, it could be very painful. Indeed. And they'd be handling this stuff every day, and the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning, and the quarrying, and the long nights, and the dust. They didn't live too long. It was over quickly.